Hi, my name is Omid, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you a very, very important grammar point. I'm going to teach you about a mistake many, many students make. So I don't want you to make this mistake. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between how long, how long time, how much time, and how many times. Students often confuse these four expressions, so let's look at some of the differences. I have here a question. I actually have three different sentences here. One of them is right, two of them are wrong, okay? So let's look at these together. The first one, how long time have you been here? The second one, how long? Have you been here? And the third one, how many times have you been here? So one of these is correct. Which one do you think is right? If you said, how long time have you been here? That's incorrect. This one, it's wrong. Number two, how long have you been here? If you said this one, you are correct. This is right. What about the last one? How many times have you been here? This one is also wrong, but we can make it right if we add an S. So, let's go over each of these so you can find out why some of these are wrong and why some of them are right. To get us started, Let's look at how long. When we ask somebody how long, we are asking them about time, okay? We want to know the amount of time for something. So, for example, how long have you been here? I want to know maybe how many minutes, or maybe I want to know how many hours you have been here, okay? If I ask you, how long have you lived in England? An answer would be a number that has to do with time. You might say, five years, four weeks, two months. Okay, so when we ask, how long? The answer and what we want to know is about time. Minutes, hours, days month, weeks, years. Let's look at another example. How long have you lived in Spain? The answer is going to be something about time. Three years. Okay? You'll notice not always, but many times we use how long with the present perfect. It's possible to use it with the past tense, the simple past and also the future, but you will often see it with the present perfect. How long have you been married? How long have you worked here? How long have you studied English? Okay, so a lot of the questions you probably want to ask somebody, you're probably going to use how long have you? Very common way we ask questions. So, what about how long time? Can I say that also? Can I say, how long time have you lived in Spain? Or, how long time did you sleep on a plane? No, if you're asking how long, you don't need the word time, okay? We never say in English, how long time. Many students say how long time, but this is not correct. The correct expression how long? Not how long time. All right, so now let's look at how much time and how many times. So we have talked about how long, which is good, how long time, which is bad. Now let's look at how much time. 
I think this is why many students get confused. I think they confuse how long and how much time, and they, as a result, they create how long time, which is incorrect. So, how much time actually is pretty much the same as how long. When you ask how much time, you want to know about the amount of time. You want to know about maybe it's minutes, days, weeks, month, years. It's the same as how long. For example, how much time does it take to get to work? I could also say, how long does it take to get to work? They have the same meaning. Or, how much time have you waited? How much time have you been in line for? Okay, so the answers to these questions are going to be about time. How much time does it take to get to work? For me, it takes one hour. How much time have you waited in line? I waited in line for five minutes. Okay, so for both how long and how much time, they're pretty much the same. In conversation, we usually use how long. You can use both, but native speakers are more likely to use how long. So if you're trying to decide, do I use how much time or how long? How long is more natural and it's more common, okay? But they mean the same thing. Now, here is another area many students get confused. How many times? How many times is not the same as how much time. The words how and time are the same, but these have different meanings. First, before I tell you what this means, I want you to notice the word time and time here. With how much time? Is there an S? No, there is no S. But for how many times? There always is an S. We don't say how many times. We say how many times with an S. So this has a different meaning than this. This is different because when you ask someone how many times, you want to know the number of events, not the time. The number of events. So you're counting one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So for example, you might say, how many times did you watch the movie Titanic? Some people watch the movie once. Some people watch the movie twice. Some people watch the movie a hundred times, maybe even 500 times. So, how many times did you watch the movie Titanic? How many times did you eat today? Maybe if you had breakfast, lunch and dinner, you ate three times. How many times have you been to the museum? I've been to the museum five times. Okay. So this, for how many times, you're counting. And your answer, it could be once, twice. After twice, we often say three times, with an S also. Four times. Okay. We can also say one time, two times. That's possible too. So here is one more example. How many times will you watch this video? Will you watch it one time, two times, three times, a hundred times? I hope not, but I hope you watch this video. And if you need to watch it multiple times, it can help you really with your understanding. Okay, so just to go over what you learned in this video, we talked about how long, meaning we are talking about time, minutes, hours, days. We talked about how much time, which has the same meaning, but is less common. 
we talked about how many times, which is not the same and which means you're counting, okay? And we also talked about how long time, which is never, never correct in English. We never say how long time. Okay, that was all. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, take care.